Hey everyone, my name is Wedge. Kaladesh release weekend is upon us and we have a lot to talk about. You're going to be drafting this set for the next few months, so it's important to get ahead of the curve. In this video, we're going to talk about the best commons and uncommons in each color so that you know what to take when your rare is this. Yeah, not going to be fun. Anyways, I hope you enjoy this video and if you do, remember to hit the like button. Helps out a lot. Remember, this video is dedicated to the absolute best commons and uncommons in each color. If I don't talk about a card, it doesn't mean that the card is bad. It just means that I don't want to first pick it. There are plenty of great cards I'm not going to talk about, so as we go through this list, please try to remember that we're only covering the best cards at each rarity in each color. The cards that you would be happy to take first pick if your rare is a garbage fire. Alright, let's get started. We usually start with white cards, but artifacts are such a big deal in this set, we're going to start there. Thanks to this being such an artifact friendly set, there are plenty of good uncommon artifacts. I strongly believe that Bowmat Bizarre Barge is the best. 4 mana for a 5 5 with crew 3 is decent. Drawing a card when it enters the battlefield is beyond decent. This is the type of card that fits into any deck. It replaces itself in your hand and it beats in for a lot. Everything you want out of a card with a fair crew cost. If I had to pick a second best uncommon artifact, it would be relatively difficult. I think Chief of the Foundry and Foundry Inspector are both absurd in decks with a decent amount of artifacts. Filigree Familiar is just full of value, so that may be my choice honestly. Besides those, I really like Snare Thopter. It's between Snare Thopter and Filigree Familiar for me, but wow, there are lots of great artifact uncommons. I still believe the barge is above all the rest though. Moving to artifact commons, Renegade Freighter is absurd. Many of you saw it last weekend at the pre-release, this card is dumb. 3 mana for a 4-3 with a low crew cost, and it gets plus 1 plus 1 and trample when it attacks, are you serious? Fill your deck with a bunch of these. Honestly, I feel like this is clearly the best artifact common, I don't think it's close, this card is absurd. The next best artifact common is Sky Skiff. There aren't that many great common artifacts to be honest, but Sky Skiff is worthy of a second place prize without compromising quality. 2 mana for a 2-3 flyer is amazing, and crewing for only 1 is perfect. Totally fair cost, fair power and toughness, just a solid vehicle all around. White is going to be a color that's very difficult to talk about. The entire color is kind of busted. By busted I mean a lot of the cards in the color have above average quality, definitely not something we're used to seeing. Starting with uncommons, I strongly believe that Fairgrounds Warden is the best due to its removal trigger. You really can't beat removal and putting it on a creature just feels good. 3 Toughness is also nice, survives some decent removal in the set as well, it's a good card. The next best white uncommon is a toss up. There's an argument to be made for Aerial Responder, Visionary Augmenter, Wisp Weaver Angel, and Sky Whaler Shot. Personally I think Aerial Responder is crazy strong and would absolutely be my pick for second best uncommon, but there's an argument to be made for each of these cards. If you open multiple in one pack, I do not envy your situation, but I do believe that the Fairgrounds Warden is above the rest of them. The white commons, much like the uncommons, are above average quality. Revoke Privileges is easily the best though. Solid removal stops the creatures from crewing vehicles, it's like pacifism on steroids. This is definitely the white common you want to be first picking. Once you get past that delicious removal, much like with the uncommons, things get a bit hairy. Glensleeve Artisan is great, Propeller Pioneer is quite strong, so is Thriving Ibex, Impeccable Timing is removal. There are so many decent white commons. So instead of picking one of them, I'm going to talk about a card that a lot of players are underestimating, Eddie Trail Hawk. I mentioned this card in our pre-release guide, but it definitely went under the radar for most players. As you may have learned last weekend, flyers are key to winning in this format. Kaladesh is designed for ground battle. So many boards are going to be gummed up and complicated. Eddie Trailhawk lets you fly right over the craziness. Definitely underestimated. I believe it has the same value as some of the other commons I previously mentioned. It's a great card. Blue uncommons are looking really good this time around. Regardless, I think Aether Meltdown stands above the rest, almost embarrassingly so. 2 mana, neuters a creature or vehicle, has flash, gives you 2 energy. There's a lot of text on this card for only 2 mana. Pseudo removal stops whatever you put this on from curing anything, there's lots of value here. Definitely the best blue uncommon as far as I'm concerned. The next best blue uncommon is close, I think it's a matchup between Glimmer of Genius, Shrew Negotiation, and Longfin Skywhale. 
Some say Experiment Aviator as well, but I think the Sky Whale is just better than that card. Anyways, all these cards are strong. Glimmer is a powerful draw effect at instant speed, very important. Shrewd Negotiation in the right deck is an absolute monster. If you can get enough crappy artifacts on the battlefield, this becomes a huge bomb. And the Whale is basically a cheaper air elemental, which we all know has always been good in limited formats. Blue commons are pretty easy to figure out. Malfunction is removal. Prevents attacking, blocking, crewing vehicles. You'll take it. Removal's always good. Besides malfunction, and I've said this a million times already, Aether Theorist is crazy. It should not be a common. It has the power of an uncommon. If you played with this card last weekend, you know what I'm talking about. This was a better sigiled starfish thanks to its increased power, at least for me. Card's absurd. Malfunction and the Theorist are easily 1-2 of the color and rarity. It is not close at all. Moving on to Black Uncommons, we're looking at Essence Extraction before anything else. I don't care what else you mention, Essence Extraction is the best Black Uncommon for limited purposes. You get to kill something with 3 toughness, 4-3 mana at instant speed, and you gain 3 life. Simple card, but easily worth a first pick, no question. Now, if we move past that, things get a little complicated. Personally, I think Aetherborn Marauder is the next best Black Uncommon but there's an argument to be made for Make Obsolete or even Oval Chase Daredevil. I think the Marauder is better than both of these cards, but Make Obsolete could be insane removal and the Daredevil does provide a recurring giant body. I don't have a definitive answer for you, but I like the Marauder. Black commons are much easier to figure out. Die Young and Tidy Conclusion. This didn't take a lot of analysis. Removal's king. Tidy Conclusion destroys something at instant speed and you get some incidental life gain. Can't go wrong there. That instant speed is huge though, it's very nice. Dai Young is 2 mana for minus 2 minus 2 at worst. That's playable on its own. I think Tidy Conclusion is better by the way, but they're both first pickable, definitely. Red and Commons are actually amazing, there are so many powerful cards in this slot. I will say however that you'd be hard pressed to find one better than Aether Torch Renegade. Card's crazy. Being able to ping a creature a turn for 2 turns is a big deal. You're talking about removal on a stick. You can make combat more annoying for your opponent, and if you have more energy, you can keep using this. These Tim abilities always come at a premium and limited due to their power. This time around, the premium is energy. It's well worth it. The Renegade is strong. The next best red in common is Harnessed Lightning. Two mana at instant speed for three damage? Come on. If you have more energy, you can do more damage. But I don't really care about that. Two mana for three damage is worth it all by itself. Better yet, if you don't even need that much damage, you can hold back some energy to use for later. It's genius. I won't lie, I'm not all that impressed with red commons. They're okay, but definitely not up to the above average quality we've seen in other colors. I think Chandra's Pyrohelix and Welding Sparks are the best red commons. I can't decide which is better. My gut says the sparks, but it's close. I don't think it's particularly important after that. I wouldn't consider any other red common first pickable after these two removal spells. If you get them both in one pack, I guess go with the sparks, but it's close. It's really close. Alright, last color. Let's talk green and commons. We all know removal is always important. It's especially important in green, a color that doesn't exactly boast about its removal quality. Nature's Way is a great way to fight that stereotype. Two mana, you don't even have to fight the target creature, and your creature gets trample and vigilance? Are you serious? Nature's Way is on the shortlist for best in common in the entire set. It really is. Definitely the best green non-rare in the set, easily first pickable a lot of the time. Next to the ridiculous removal spell, it's close between Arborback Stomper and Servant of the Conduit, but based on last weekend's performance and feel of the format, I think Arborback is just better. You have a lot going on in each game. Games aren't going to end on turn 4. Arborback Stomper helps bring your life total back up, and you'll have time to beat face with your 5-4 Trampler. Now, Servant of the Conduit is also first pickable, don't get me wrong. Gotta love that fixing and ramp. But if I had to choose between the two, I'll probably pick the Stomper. Green Commons, last but not least. Hunt the Weak is removal, and I think it's still worth taking above most non-removal options. It isn't flashy like Nature's Way, but we're still playing green, and we still need answers, right? It's an easy choice for me. Now, beyond that, I want to make a note. There are two green creatures I think are leagues above the rest. Pima Outrider and Riparian Tiger. 
These two creatures are amazing, super high quality for the common slot, and are easily two of my favorite creatures in any color at the common rarity. I've gushed about them before, and I'm sure this won't be the last time either. And with that, we end our look at the best commons and uncommons in Kaladesh for the purposes of drafting. Now remember, there were other cards that are good, obviously, but before you ask, where was this card? Try to remember that I'm only mentioning cards I want to first pick. If a card isn't first pickable, I didn't mention it. Hopefully that'll answer a lot of your questions. If not, please ask below. Give your suggestions. Where do you think I was right? Where do you think I was wrong? Love to hear what you have to say. As always, be sure to subscribe for the latest and most reliable Magic the Gathering information you could ever need. This is the Manosaurus, I'm Wedge. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. This video is brought to you in part by TCGPlayer.com. Kaladesh is now out. If you want boxes shipped right to you this very second, you can do that. TCG Player selling boxes for a cool $94 each. If you don't have an LGS or yours is overcharging, this is a great opportunity to pick one up if you want it. If you'd rather have packs instead of a box, especially for drafting purposes, you can get packs on the site right now for $3 each. Yeah, not $4, $3. Great deal. Want your Kaladesh goodness? Click the links and enjoy.